What's up everyone, Big Poner again. Figured I'd make another video. This time I wanted to show off the awesome power of the Confusion Solar Beam Executor. So check it out. Now the only downside to the Executor with the Confusion is the Confusion is just such a slow um, animation. I'm actually just gonna wait and dodge these two attacks and then I'm just going to DPS him, and as soon as his solar beam is charged, which it charges just insanely fast, he's just done for. The reason why I dodged the first two attacks is just because it's a quick succession of attacks, so you can minimize the damage, and with this Pokemon, you can just basically obliterate a lot of Pokemon before they can even get off their charge move. It should be able to get off this beam and then still be able to dodge before the Splissy can get an attack off. And the nice thing is, is normally by the time it gets its attack off, you're then ready to um, launch another Solar Beam. So, I mean, it's just going to obliterate the Splissy. which is pretty awesome. And, I mean, another cool thing is, is they do get resistances from the psychic attacks, um, so, which, I mean, like, the psychic is gonna hit him pretty easily. Um, it's just such a fast animation, and with the confusion, unless you're just expecting the attack and you just wait for it, you're probably going to wind up getting hit by it. But, I mean, you can see how effective this Pokemon is. I mean, it's just... It just shreds through stuff. So, he's probably going to get taken out right here. I'm going to dodge the second one, and then I'm going to swap him out. He won't be dead. Now, this Dragonite that I'm fighting against is... I have to be pretty careful against because it's got the Dragon Claw, which will just completely annihilate. Ah, oh, there it goes. Got me. Dragon Claw is like my favorite. I'll get that back. But Dragon Claw is... Oh, what the heck? Well, it's just stuck there. I should get all that life back. Um, Dragon Claw... Oh, wow. I didn't get that back. I guess it's time to go to something else. Um, Dragon Claw is just an insane attack for, um, for a defender because it's a spam move, it's 50 damage, and it's a dragon attack, so, I mean, it's gonna be strong against pretty much everything that is attacking against it. There just isn't any good Pokemon that are resistant to the attacks. Um, the Tyranitar... By far, the Bite Stone Edge is going to be my favorite for attacking with. The reason why, it doesn't have the damage output of the Bite Crunch, but I really like the, the fast move setup, and the reason why is because it just gives me the ability, like if I want to, that I can dodge everything. And although it's not going to take down the Pokemon as fast, it's not going to get taken out itself as quickly. It's just not left open to the attacks for long periods of time. If I had used a crunch in, the, in that situation, even after the first Dazzling Gleam, I would have gotten smacked by that second one. So the Death Glitch is probably going to become an issue on the next attack. Um, if it happens, it's going to make it so I'm not going to be able to continue using him. So I'm just going to DPS and expect that that's going to happen. I'll probably actually just let him... Eh, we'll see if it hits. Oh, yep, see death glitch. So that sucks, but nothing I can do about it. I should get that back. So he should have been dead multiple attacks ago. So if you've seen my videos where I just stop attacking, it's because I know that I've attacked him enough times to take him out. Um, and I know that eventually the computer should 
calculate it and go ahead and take him out. So like when you're launching big attacks, something you want to do is you want to time it so that I'll get that back. Um, or I should have. Um, you want to time it so that you're only getting hit by one attack. If you launch it at the wrong time, what it's going to do is it's going to make it so that you're going to immediately get hit by an attack, and then you're also going to get hit by another attack shortly after. So that's not the situation that you want to be in. The best way to launch a large move is to wait till right after you dodge and then immediately launch your attack. It's going to minimize the chance that they wind up procking one of their large moves and wind up hitting it you with it. So it's that's definitely going to be the best way for you to strategize your attacks when you're fighting against a gym. Um, and then you'll notice that I'm doing a lot of double stepping. Uh, the reason why I do the double stepping is because a lot of the times it's not going to... Um, so now I've got two death glitches on Pokemon in a row. Um, so... Like, the Bite Crunch in this scenario is actually a really good choice, and the reason why is I can just sit here and DPS him with my small attack and just build up these bars, and since I know it's going to give me a certain amount of time from when he launches his attack, I can just sit here, build up these bars, wait for him to launch his attack, and then once, he, once he's launched his attack, I can just dump the whole bar on him. Or maybe he's just not going to do it. Yeah, well, he's in death range, so we're going to go ahead and kill him. He won't be able to get the hyper beam off. So, there we go. Another run through. You guys got to check out the reason why I really like the executor with the confusion solar beam. Hope you enjoyed watching. Talk to you guys later.